external force applied on an object whose mass we know. It's initially at rest. So what's its kinetic energy? Zero. Zero. All right. And the net force component uh, varies with the magnitude of the displacement, as shown here in this drawing. It's a graph. Okay? So how much work is done by the net force? And then based on that, what's its speed going to be at uh, S? Here we use S for displacement sometimes, just randomly. Um, 20 meters. What is going on with that thing? All right. So how are we going to find, number one, how are we going to find the work done by this force? Area, Area under the curve. All right. So now, yeah, we could integrate, but we don't have a function for it, okay? So we're just going to have to do it geometrically, all right? We've got a triangle, and we've got a square, all right? So here's our triangle, all right? And here's our square. All right. Uh, no, it's crazy, isn't it? All right, so the area for... <laughs> The area for the triangle is one half bh. Area under the curve, area under the force versus displacement curve. Because it's easier. Because it's, it's, we could do it geometrically. It's to do it geometrically. All right. So one half bh. And so what's the base? Ten meters. So we got one half of ten meters. The height is ten newtons. That is equal to 50 newton meters or 50 what? 50 joules. Okay? All right. So now the area of the. Here, let's. All right. So now come down here. The area for this thing, the blue area, is equal to 1 half B. No, nope, not 1 half BH. Silly. It's just BH. All right? which is the same as this. It's just going to be 10 meters times 10 newtons. 10 newton meters is 100 joules. All right. So we take this area plus this area for the total work, 150 joules. And since red plus blue equal purple, there we go. 150 joules. Thank you very much.